up to the dead end. I'd probably want to position on the high ground with your Reinhardt here, by the way, because if there, you can't spam the, you can kind of spam the door from down here, but really you want to kind of be standing up here. So you can watch the flank down there. You can drop down if needed. You can bury your, like you can bury these two guys for sure. Don't get me wrong, but you can't attack as cleanly from down here as you could from up here. So I would just in the future stand up there with your Reinhardt. See, like right there, we hear the hook come out, and we're not in a position to protect our Reinhardt. And that barrier, I mean, don't it's an it's an okay barrier because we see our Reinhardt is very weak at about 150 HP, but that could have been avoided if we had been standing up top. And so this barrier is basically stopping him from dying, but it's hard to say if it's actually protecting him from damage. <clears throat> yeah, we're in a bit of a bind here. We lost our main DPS Bastion. We lost one of our. We lost our only healer, Lu uh, Lucio. Yeah, this is uh, this isn't looking so good. Uh, this barrier here, uh, it's personal shield. Um, no, I I really can't fault you. The Roadhog was com actually like completely looking at you. He just missed. So it was a fine personal shield. Unfortunate that you didn't get any energy from it. Oh, I would have, uh, no, I can't really, no, there's really no one else to shield. Yeah, you're dead. If they don't kill you, I'm going to be amazed. Oh, okay. This barrier, it's so, I like that you turned around. You realized, you know what, I have HP, I've got cooldowns, I see two chevrons on the point, I can go back. So I really like... Uh, what that you returned however make sure that whenever you press that barrier button you're doing it for a reason and I th I feel like the notion right here is you just saw a teammate the first one you saw and buried them without really assessing you know are they taking damage is there a threat attacking them etc so I don't like that barrier very much the the roadhog could come on and kill someone you know the soldier could uh, start the enemy soldier could you know helix rocket someone and then we wish we had that barrier See, like, right there, I'm glad you didn't instantly bury your soldier. That's good. I like that you're trying to grenade the Lucio as he's jumping up and down. Good shield there to block the hook. Now look to shield someone from this attack visor. Oh, everyone's okay. Good assessment. Oh, and then Lucio, Lucio stepped out for no reason. That's unfortunate. Juke. Soggy, what's up, man? Good barrier. I, I like the delay there. You you were waiting, at least the way I feel, is you were like, okay, is he actually going to get hooked or not? You're kind of thinking about it, and then once you see the two tanks instantly turn on him, you pop the barrier. So good good delay there. I like the that micro decision to hold it that split second. You're, you're way overextending for this Roadhog, though. Oh, my. Ooh, good barrier there. Uh oh. This is the time when your team should rotate back to the high ground because the high ground is a power position on this point. I like that barrier. Oh, that was an even better Earth Shatter. Shield your Ryan. Oh, it's so, so, so close. It was almost off cooldown. Careful. Yeah, you are having a bit of an issue committing to a grab. There was a good grab right there. 
with uh, there was three people grouped up definitely I would have considered using it there for sure um, good barrier there on your Reinhardt again okay so okay so for example let's right here there's 21 seconds left uh, I feel like this is an okay grab but because you're going to catch a big healer in Lucio, the main tank in Reinhardt. But then it's just, oh, oh my god, right here, Lucio and two other squishies. This grab, please. Please, please, please. Okay, there we go. Good job. Yeah, the other team just started staggering super hard, honestly. Yeah, so the, I'd say the main criticism on the second half is definitely, you know, know uh, the power positions on each point. And this is for all, all heroes, not just Zarya. Definitely high, that high ground position there is really good because you can rotate to any flank or any path that the enemy team takes from this high ground right here. So that's the main thing. Again, you had solid barriers. Um, um, yeah, you had the one bad barrier on the soldier when you returned in the fight, but besides that, your barriers are all pretty good. Your Reinhardt is really making it easy for you to decide when and who to bury because he is being aggressive, which is what I like out of a Reinhardt player. You know, be aggressive, be that spear for our team, and I will follow. Um, your reloads are were good. I didn't really see an issue there. Your personal shield was your personal shield. You still just pretty good, also. I think there was one that was like. Uh, but, but I think that was uh, the one I'm thinking of. It was mainly because the Roadhog uh, missed you. Um, but yeah, I think overall, just you have a solid foundation in terms of uh, Zarya play. There's nothing like. I th I'd say the main thing is definitely you have to. Uh, amazing graviton opportunities aren't just gonna like land in your lap. Sometimes you have to make those opportunities appear, and definitely that attack phase and this defense phase, there were a couple good opportunities to um, use graviton. So, for example, on attack, I think it was third point. Definitely at least third point. Like right here, you could. This is a good opportunity. Uh, if you like grenade jump off the payload and shoot it like right here you can catch their whole team and your your whole team will just you know plow into them and you'll win the game that way now you still won the game or won the round so it's not a big deal but definitely that was an opportunity there and then again on defense let's see um Another thing about if you were up here on this high ground with a grab, like if their whole team pulls, uh, funnels through this choke, you can definitely, you know, get a really good grab off that way. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, I, the grab you got was good. It was just, you know, right at the end. So no, that wasn't a bad grab by any means. Just, you know, be on the lookout for those, you know, golden opportunities. Um, and, ma and make them happen for you and your team. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this review. I hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more or chat with me more, um, check out my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, and my Discord. All those links will be in the description. Hope this was helpful, hope this was helpful to you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, have a good one. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. Check out these two other videos on the left hand side and be sure to subscribe by clicking that button on the right. If you like all of this stuff, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and of course YouTube. All the links will be in the description below. Again, thanks so much for watching guys and have a good one.